our carbon footprint. It's the amount of greenhouse gases we humans release to the atmosphere, and a lot of it comes from our energy use. Let's meet six families from three countries in very different parts of the world. All use energy and all have a carbon footprint. Six families, three countries. What do their carbon footprints look like? Natural gas or propane often fuels the furnace, the water heater, and clothes dryer. In many homes, these fuels provide the energy that cooks the meals. The Langs have a propane range, and the Presslers have a natural gas cooktop. They also have propane grills for backyard cooking. But the single largest use of energy inside an American home is for heating and cooling. Like two-thirds of U.S. households, our families use natural gas and propane for heating. Most of the rest use electricity. Natural gas and propane account for about a third of our family's energy use. But because they contain the least amount of carbon of all fossil fuels, natural gas and propane account for less than 20% of our family's carbon footprint. The Hondas and Sharmas cook using a mixture of propane and butane called LPG. The LPG gas comes in a cylinder and is attached to the cooktop just like gas grills in the U.S. The cylinders last about three to six weeks, depending on the season. About half of the urban households in India use LPG. The other households still use kerosene cook stoves or wood fires. Families buy cylinders of LPG from local vendors. In this tropical climate, water for chores and personal use is heated by the sun in rooftop tanks. Because Delhi has cold weather only a few weeks a year, homes do not have furnaces. For our families, these cooking gases account for 6% of the household energy use and 4% of the carbon footprint. Heating is not a concern in tropical Cameroon, where the temperatures are hot year-round. LPG is expensive and rare outside the cities, but wood and crop residue are common and are used by 90% of the population. The biomass fuel is gathered by the family or purchased in the market from a woodcutter. Like fossil fuels, Plant materials contain carbon, and carbon dioxide is generated when they are burned. Our families use fuel from young trees and seasonal crops. Unlike the carbon in old growth forests, the carbon in these plants was recently absorbed from the atmosphere. Scientists say that burning this type of biomass only recycles the carbon. It doesn't add more to the atmosphere. As a result, they do not count the carbon from seasonal biomass fuel in the carbon footprint. This biomass fuel accounts for 60% of the energy used by our families in Cameroon, but does not add anything to their household's carbon footprint. 